Welcome to another video. Just been hanging out, playing games, and about to watch, probably watch some movies here. But anyways, I'm gonna get on with this. This is my top 10 jazz records, top favorites here, and I'll explain why. Something else, this is one of the records I got into early on when I got into jazz, back in 2013, 2014. This is, and all these are easily obtainable. This is an Analog Productions version. With these, I always keep the hype sticker, and I come up with a information card. Great uh, record here of Miles Davis. It's a Julian Cannonball Adderley record. And a lot of people have this in their collection. Maybe not this pressing, but uh, something like it. And there's also a Music Matters Jazz version as well. Um, look, there's a Blue Note 80th Anniversary Edition out there. Some some other edition but uh so that's number 10 number 9 John Coltrane Blue Train this is the Music Matters Jazz 33 RPM edition there's also a 45 these are still can uh, easily be found on eBay I believe right now they're not available on Amazon no sellers have them um, I wouldn't be surprised if they're also on Discogs probably could have got this on Discogs for a lower price but incredible album it's almost like a blowing session, but I know they didn't. They, that's not what they did with this album. Pick that up while it's still uh, at a somewhat affordable price. Miles Davis is the mono uh, digitized copy. Oh, mine is starting to split. That's that's not good. But this guy can easily be obtained. I believe the current uh, pressing that's in print right now or available on store shelves is from this mastering it's uh who did this one uh, i don't remember who but i will put that in the description box i'll actually be doing some comparisons between this and the mole fidelity edition which is also uh, you can also find that it's out of print uh, you'll probably have better luck finding it in a brick and mortar store for cheaper it goes for about uh almost two hundred dollars as we making this video on youtube i mean on uh yeah on uh on eBay rather uh, I looked at it and thought about buying a backup copy since it sounds so darn good but anyways there you go so yes that is the Columbia 30 Therapium Mono Time Out by the Dave Brubeck Quartet classic songs here and this is a gatefold this is analog productions version I just went ahead and just kept the uh, original shrink on here I may just put my own um, what you call it sleeve on it there's also a mono version I'm not sure if this was released in mono uh, but it, the original press is in mono I believe another analog productions relaxing with the Miles Davis quintet because it's still going to be bought on their website I believe I don't know if it's still in print but this came out in 2013 Miles Davis Sketches of Spain, 1960, Mono Canadian Press. Um, the American Mono Press can be found on this. It's a reissue. I'm sure that's digital, but based on the uh, digital <coughs> vinyl reissues of Miles Davis records, I'm sure this one sound, that one sounds good. I will not be buying it since I have this and the stereo edition, the more fidelity version. Oh, I'm not numbering these. Huh. That was five, four. This is Hank Mobley's Dippin'. You got Lee Morgan on here, Harold Malber, Larry Ridley, and Billy Higgins. Incredible album, very relaxing. Some of the songs on here are relaxing. I believe I See Your Face Before Me is good. I mean, it's one of those slower songs on the album. And this is a numbered edition, number 465. Didn't buy it for that though, bought it for the music. Ah, Tone Poet. Lee Morgan, The Cooker, originally released in 1957. Incredible album. These are on par with the Tone Poets. None of these are numbered. But, I'm sorry, they're uh, on par with the Music Matters um, releases. 
but they're about half the cost and actually lower <laughs> than half in some most cases. Another original Columbia from the 50s. This one's from the 50s. Milestones by Miles Davis. This is the mono recording. There's also a Mo Fidelity Stereo Edition out. Got this guy for super cheap um, compared to other um, another copy that was out there. It was like a near mint. This one is like very good, I would say. Very good condition. Plays through, no skips, but um, just incredible album. I probably will not be buying the Mo Fidelity uh, copy. And another Tone Poet here. Dexter Gordon's Clubhouse. Incredible album. You got Freddie Hubbard on here helping out. Barry Harris, Bob Crenshaw, and Billy Higgins. These guys just kind of interchanged um, between bands and albums and whatnot. And it just, everything worked out great. It's incredible. You can't really do that in rock. It's just different. This is a 2019 release, and this is number one. Just kind of put these together. Um... I don't have any more Dexter Gordon releases, but probably we'll get some soon. So that is my top 10 jazz albums. Bet you weren't expecting that for number one. Neither was I. 